The perfect day. You're lucky you're coming because you'll get to witness my little prank. The guys got me so good last year, so this year I'm giving it back to them big time. What'd they do? Badmouth a bird? Well, we all agreed to sneak out of last year's conference to go get a beer, but they gave me the address of a cupcake shop instead. <laughs> I can't wait to be an adult so I can get why that's funny. So, this year, I'm gonna show up with this box of week-old cupcakes. I can't wait to watch them eat these. Wow, you guys really know how to party, huh? Wait, those cupcakes have just been sitting in our house for a week? <laughs> yep, yep, pretty stale. You monster! Wait, oh my gosh, it's the mayor. Hello? Owen, mayor, I have your attention, please. This is the mayor. I was talking to the park commissioner about your I Heart the Park program, and she's intrigued. That's great! Well, somebody's excited. But listen, she thought it would be wise for you to first get approval from the park manager executive committee. Well, that will not be a problem. I happen to serve on the committee myself and know the other members quite well. I'm actually, seeing them today. Oops, shoot, I need to find some tape. Gotta go. <laughs> That was a sneak peek of the new episode of Central Park out tomorrow on Apple TV+. Plus. And joining us now, the show's co-creator and executive producer, Josh Gad. He's also the voices of the character uh, Birdie. And Josh, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's, you... <laughs> it's so good to see you. It, it took me coming to Australia and zooming at 10 o'clock at night to finally see you again. But I'm happy that That'll it worked do out. It. I, I'll That'll do it. Here. Yeah. I'll, I'll remind our viewers that you are behind one of my worst parenting moments, and there are so uh -oh. many. But you in the Book of Mormon, I brought my little girls to the Book of Mormon. They were really, oh... <laughs> It was really bad. That's, by the way, that's on you. That's not on me. There were reviews that would have told you exactly not to take your child to the Book of Mormon. Um, although I made the same mistake. We took, uh, at the time, my eight-year-old niece, and I just remember my mother uh, covering Sydney's ears and was... my wife covering her eyes. Yeah, we were in the front row, and my girls were like, like what? So it was, it was, uh, yeah, thanks for that. So yes, I blame myself, but let's, let's talk about Central Park. I guess the fourth episode, um, is debuting tomorrow, but for those who haven't seen it and you want to draw them into the series, tell us about it. You know, Central Park is the culmination of sort of everything that I love in this world. Uh, obviously, you mentioned Book of Mormon. Between Book of Mormon and uh, Beauty and the Beast and, of course, Frozen, I am clearly obsessed with musicals and musical theater. And I wanted to marry the musical form to an animated sitcom. And Lauren Bouchard, who created Bob's Burgers, is a hero of mine. And I pitched him this idea about this family that lives in Central Park. And we came up with this show uh, that features what I call the Avengers of, of musical theater. It's got Leslie Odom Jr. from Hamilton, David Diggs, also from Hamilton, Emmy Raver Lampman, also from Hamilton. Uh, you're, mm. you're seeing a trend here, I imagine. Uh, and then, of course, it's got Kristen Bell, Titus Burgess. Um, and uh, Stanley Tucci and many others. And it's just, um, it's such a joy. It's, it, everybody who watches it says the same thing, which is what we were hoping for, which is it brings a smile to your face. And at a time in which there's so much cynicism, it's just mm. a pure uh, rush of adrenaline in your life. Nice. Josh, it's great to see you since it's 10 o'clock where you are. I hope there's something good in that mug. We're just drinking coffee, but you're entitled yeah, to something yeah. stronger, no, this hopefully. Is, this is... This is not Morning Joe. Uh, this is, oh. uh, this is, yes, this is also not appropriate for uh, little eight-year-old girls. Um, uh, that, that's all I can say about that. But no, it's, it's, I know that it's, it's empty. raining outside right now. Yeah. yeah. I note that it's empty, Josh, which is, which is important. I'm, you're ready, properly ready for the interview. Uh, yeah, um, so I am. Josh, this show is such a blast for people who haven't seen it. They've got to check it out. I actually, that clip we showed earlier in the tease of Birdie sort of busking right at that part of Central Park. I was there like two days ago watching a busker. So I know exactly where you are. And for people who haven't watched it, I mean, your character is hilarious and great and funny. But as you said, this cast is just unbelievable, top to bottom. Kristen Bell, you mentioned all the names who are on the show. You've done a bunch of voice work, of course, Olaf and Frozen. Is it fun to kind of do that? Don't get me wrong. We love seeing your actual face. But is it also fun for you to do these kind of animated projects where you get in a room with a bunch of friends and just kind of crack each other up 
It is. It is. You know, it's. I, I, I always liken it to being a kid in, in a sandbox. You're getting to basically do all the work with your voice and you marry it to your imagination and, you know, the possibilities are endless and, and only limited by the imagination of the animator that brings it to life. In the case of this show, I had wanted to work with all of these people for a long time and being an executive producer, I, I, I was fortunate enough to be the one who could call them all up and be like, hey, you want to come play with us? And, and uh, you know, including the aforementioned people, you have other people like Catherine Hahn, uh, who I'm obsessed yeah. with, uh, and and Sam Richardson now. So you, we, we've really collected um, some of the finest people uh, not only behind the scenes in animation, but also musical theater. And week to week, we have five songs, Willie. So it's like, on top of getting to do an animated voice, this season I'm getting to sing songs like a meatloaf style inspired song. Uh, so it's 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 just everything I love doing in this world. It's on the new season of the show. Uh, look, obviously, in some ways, it's been a tough couple of years for New York City. Hit so hard and early by the pandemic. Uh, this here appears like it could be a little bit of a valentine to that, to that city. Tell us about, you know, the themes of New York City and Central Park and what a character it plays. Well, you know, I've, I, Central Park in particular has always been a really special place for me. I, I think because it's sort of a melting pot. It's the one place that's, I call it the great equalizer. Uh, it's the one place that the haves and the have-nots can all walk around and be on an equal playing field. And that's always been significant to me. I remember when I was very young, I was, I was applying to colleges. And I had a really bad audition for Juilliard. And I thought that my dreams were over. And I'll never forget walking through the entrance of Central Park. And as I crossed that threshold, it started snowing. And it had this almost magical, mystical feeling to it. Uh, and New York, as we've seen over the last three years, um, has... Uh, a resilience that I think is really, really inspiring and admirable. And we've tried to boil that down to the Tillerman family, the central family who's at the core of the show. And, and they have that same resilience. Mm, nice. This show is great. As I said, new episodes of Central Park premiere every Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Josh Gad, who has corrupted so many children with his performances yes. on Broadway, <laughs> on TV, Little girls. and on film. <laughs> You've changed a lot of lives, Josh. Not always for the better. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for being here, my friend. Great to see you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Thanks, Josh. We'll see coffee. you soon. Me